Amendments. Amendment one. A bro is entitled to have sex with his bro's ex if she initiates it, is really hot, or his bro is out of town or in a different room. Amendment two. If a bro writes and directs a trilogy of awesome space-themed sagas that define a generation's childhood, he is forbidden from later tarnishing that legacy by crapping out a prequel trilogy that forces bros to specify episodes four to six or the real trilogy when referencing what was once a perfect series of movies, regardless of how anyone feels about Ewoks. Amendment three. Should a bro become aware that his bro has a really hot sister, nine and up, she is no longer protected under Article 19. A bro shall not sleep with a bro's sister. That said, a bro should reevaluate if the sister kind of resembles his bro in a wig. Amendment four. A bro shall never turn away a bro who shows up uninvited at his door with a box of porn. Amendment 5. If your bro finds himself living with a chick, it is no longer acceptable for you to show up uninvited at his door with a box of porn. Amendment 6. Okay, so if a bro desperately needs to stash his porn somewhere, he is allowed to show up uninvited at his bro's door with a box of porn, even if his bro is living with a chick. Since the bro's connection with his porn undoubtedly constitutes an older and more meaningful relationship, the box of porn is afforded right of way over the live-in girlfriend, despite the box of porn's inability to get super pissed and withhold sex for the night. Amendment 7 a bro may toss the bro code out the window if Scandinavian twins are involved in any capacity. Amendment 8. A bro is allowed to play the air guitar provided that air guitar is made of plastic and connected to a video game system. Amendment 9. A bro is allowed to publish the bro code if he stands to make a profit on it. Violations. Violations of the bro code may result in a fine up to $250,000 or in some cases permanent disbrowment. Unresolved disputes over the bro code may be submitted via email to the International Court of Bros at Barney Stinson at Barney's blog .com, provided such disputes include pictures of the chicks involved, but only if they're hot. The chicks, not the disputes. There is no greater affront to the spirit of the bro code than a willing violation. While occasionally a bro may err due to inebriation, a momentary lapse of judgment, or if a chick is so hot that other bros would say he didn't really have a choice, any premeditated infraction of the bro code is inexcusable. When a bro violates the bro code, he hurts not only his bros, but also himself, because he is no longer bro-worthy. It's important to note that there are no tenets of the bro code that cannot be discussed in confidence with another bro, and I would urge a bro to seek permission from another bro before doing something or someone that he feels might violate the sacred code. Note. A great time to get that permission is when your bro is super drunk, like almost passed out. If and when a violation occurs, a bro has the right to administer the offending bro a level of punishment befitting the infraction. He may choose from the list of approved punishments, which is as follows. Revocation of wingman's status. Text blackout. Designated all-time tip lever assigned to solar refraction seat in living room, removal from inappropriate email forwards list, waterboarding, temporary blacklist from barbecues slash football Sundays, loss of permanent shotgun, bumped from top position on not using season tickets list, removal from holiday card mailing list, airport pickup drop-off privileges revoked, must help offended bro move heavy furniture. Temporary removal from usual golf foursome. 
must return stuff loaned from offended bro, even stuff he thinks his bro forgot about. No longer allowed to borrow the truck. Offended bro no longer required to bring beer over.